During an emergency, choosing the right field or road to land on is one of the most important decisions that you'll make. If it isn't possible to land safely, any previous good decisions you made simply don't matter. There are generally three types of fields you can observe from the air. Green, light brown, and dark brown. Knowing the characteristics of these fields will either make for a successful landing or put the pilot in a dangerous situation. Let's take a look at them both from the air and from the ground to help you make the best decision possible. In most cases, a dark brown field should be ignored right away. They're usually freshly plowed and will likely cause the aircraft to flip as soon as the nose wheel comes down. Green fields are somewhat hit or miss. If you've selected a sod farm, it will probably be smooth, level, and as well cared for as a typical grass airstrip. However, a green field may also contain tall standing crops, which could cause the aircraft to flip. Take a look at the edges of the field, particularly in the corners to get a sense for the texture of the crop. If it seems like there's a crop growing, avoid this field as it's difficult to tell how tall that the crop is from the air. Finally, take a look for cattle or other livestock. While they may present obstacles to avoid, they also generally indicate a smoother surface for your landing. Light brown fields are probably your best option and can provide a compact surface that will bear the weight of your aircraft. Try to identify a long straight area through any hay bales, cattle or other obstacles on the field and be aware of uneven terrain. Remember that as a freshly plowed field dries, it'll change from dark brown to light brown and can still be hazardous to your airplane depending on how deeply the field has been plowed. Another option that is often overlooked is a road. Many pilots are concerned with the presence of power lines. However, the ones that parallel the roads are generally not an issue because they're normally placed 20 feet or more from the edge of the road. Since most light aircraft have a wingspan of less than 20 feet per side, there's little chance of hitting a pole if you land in the center of the road. Power lines that cross the road can present a significant hazard. However, they tend to cross at intersections and near houses. Plan to land beyond the house or intersection to reduce the chance of having an obstacle on your approach. The ability to quickly decide where to land is an important practice skill. By taking time to look at various fields to see how they look at altitude, and then again on the ground, if you are faced with having to make an emergency landing, you'll have a better chance to make the best choice.